Hi guys, it's been a while since uh, I uploaded the video. Uh, I've been very busy uh, developing new products for you and um, moving to a new place, as you can probably see in the background. I'll show my system in the, in the, in the next videos, uh, but this time I intend to, to run this channel on a regular basis, so uh, expect uh, new videos uh, every once in a while. Uh, I'm starting with a rather important topic in the hi-fi world nowadays, which is uh, network. A lot of people don't know about uh, how, how to configure network for music streaming and uh, I will show you how it I will explain uh, what can you do to improve your sound from uh, either from streaming from Cobas Tidal or uh, even uh, from local files uh, for which uh, network is also important uh, even if files are loaded from uh, internal hard drive, which is a phenomenon uh, and uh, actually a um, topic maybe for another video. To build a network for music playback, uh, you need several things. First of all, you don't need a super advanced network. I personally use very simple router from Ubiquiti. This is it's dirt cheap. Uh, this model costs around 50 euro or something. Uh, it has only wired Ethernet connections. No, uh, no fiber optics because I don't like the sound of fiber optic. And uh, this router, this particular router, allows me to configure uh, advanced options like hardware offloading, uh, which further improves sound. So, router is essential part of any network you will not get any connectivity without router. So, but th that, that should be clear for everyone. So we have a router. Uh, this one comes with a, with a crappy Walmart power supply. So you better connect a high quality power supply to to router if you want to get better sound. But I'll create another video about power supplies because this is one of the most important topics in uh, hi-fi. So we have a router. Uh, this one doesn't have Wi-Fi so you need this uh, access point, a uh, separate access point, also from the same company. Uh, so these are essential components. What you need to, to connect all devices, all network devices, uh, is our, our cables, of course, LAN cables. For connecting router and access point, you don't need to use super expensive hi-fi cables. Because uh, for uh, actual playback, we will not be using Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi will be used only uh, to access to access uh, iPad or a smartphone for uh, controlling playback. This will not play any files. So we don't need to use spend extra money and buy 5, 10, 10 meters, 20, 20 meters of uh, uh, expensive LAN cables. 
the important part where you want to use high quality LAN cable is just one or two meter top just before the cable enters your music server or a streamer or endpoint, whatever you use. How to connect a regular LAN cable with a good quality hi-fi cable? It's very easy. For this purpose, I use network isolator, which uh, includes um, transformers inside. And this helps to isolate from the dirty part of network router and cheap cables. Okay. Um, I will show you, this is actually the flagship cable from JCAT. It's uh, cost um, 1200 euros, so it's, it's pretty expensive, but not super expensive compared to other hi-fi companies, uh, who, by the way, cannot use these connectors. These connectors I have exclusivity, I had at least a couple years back, nobody in the world uh, outside of Japan, no, no other company could use, could buy these connectors. Uh, these uh, are gold connectors from Delegate Japan and uh, they are even used by NASA on International Space Station. So that's that's a funny uh, funny story. And this is really great sounding cable. So uh, how to use it? This is only one meter, right? So you have a, your long. Uh, standard cable coming from router and let's say th th this I have a cable which goes here and I have uh, my signature cable plugging in the other side of network isolator and I have just connected the dirty part of network with my audio file part of network. And the transformer inside the isolator uh, helps me get even better sound. So I always use one between uh, router and uh, the rest of the network. Or, um, or between uh, modem and, and router. Okay, what else can you do? So we have, a, we have a nice cables, we have network isolator. And if you have a desktop PC, either built by yourself or you bought a music server from some manufacturer, which, by the way, uh, most use standard motherboards available off the shelf from companies like Asus or MSI. And th these music servers these motherboards from in, in, the, in, in these music servers uh, most likely have a PCI Express slot where you can install 
an expansion card, a dedicated network card, such as my own product. This is, uh, this is the uh, network card Femto. It has a Femto clock uh, from Christek. This is uh, the high-end model. Um, it has and it, it has only exclusively linear regulators on board and high performance uh, network chip, which really makes a big difference when it comes to sound quality. So when you use when you install such a card in a music server or your either it's a music server or endpoint or a NAS uh, yeah some NASes from Kunap uh, also have a PCI Express slot where you can install such a card and it will it will improve the sound drastically it will improve clarity it will improve resolution it will improve smoothness it will make the sound from low fi to high definition if you say uh, if if i can say that but um, so this is uh, this is by, by the way this was the first ever network card for audio files. I came up with this idea 10, 10 years ago. Uh, so um, this is this is a good product. Uh, what what else? And here I have here I have a high end model, the high end model of network card which I released two years ago when the pandemic started. Okay. So what is the difference between the Phantom network card and this card. Well, first of all, this card uses open control clock. And it's a clock that was developed specifically for, for networking, for high performance networking, for 5G stations, etc. This clock is supposed to be immune for electromagnetic interferences and for vibrations, which in uh, computers are all, always a problem. And vibrations in, increase jitter. This is uh, extreme edition network card from JCAT, also my product. So this Extreme Edition network card, uh, which launched two years ago, has much improved linear power supplies. Uh, the, the, the power supplies on, on the XE card are currently the best available on the market. The measured noise is below two microvolts. Uh, as far as I remember. So the power supplies and the, the clock on the card is also different. It's uh, this, this one is oven controlled and it has an, an, ac an accuracy of five, five parts per billion. It's hyper accurate. Why I decided to make a new version of higher version of higher end version of the network card? Well, first of all, I experiment a lot 
with power supplies, with um, with cables in networking. And I found out that no matter how much I improve power supplies in the network chain, it makes a huge improvement. So on this card, uh, I used currently the best linear regulators available. These are from um, analog devices. Uh, LT4035 uh, or 30, LT3045, uh, if I'm not mistaken. These are superbly sounding, superbly sounding. So this card has a better, much better clock, which is immune for vibrations, which is immune for electromagnetic interferences. So EMI stands for electromagnetic interferences. And in any com computer based device, it's a mess. So anything that lowers or is more immune to electromagnetic interferences is welcomed. And this, this clock in combination with uh, this new uh, analog devices, uh, linear power supplies, sounds really, really good. Much, much better. So customers are super happy with this product. So we have a network isolator. We have network cards, which we can install in um, music servers. And uh, of course, super cables. And we have a network switch. I have a switch from Saudi, from Japan. Uh, from the manufacturer I work close, closely with. It's Telegartner Japan Limited, which is the creator of this uh, excellent gold connectors. So this is the M12 switch gold. And it's, as far as I know, this is the best sounding switch on the market, at least what's not, not just my opinion, but uh, customers love it. And um, what is different about this switch compared to other switches, network switches on the market? Well, first of all, it uses different connectors. And this, these connectors are called M12 as the name of the switch suggests. And uh, I'll show you, I have a, also this is, this is the cable I use. Uh, also this is the signature model I personally use in my system. So I'll show you how to install this connector. It's a screwed, screwed down installation. Which makes the connection very sturdy, very stable. There is no way you can you can move it. Originally, this switch was developed for uh, Shinkansen, which is uh, super fast railway in Japan, and they need the. Uh, they required a reliable, reliable networking um, device. So, so Telegart and Japan Limited developed this this kind of switch and this kind of connector for Japan for Japan rail, railway. And uh, audio files in Japan discovered that when they used switches 
for industrial applications such as this one, they were getting better sound. So they reached out to the company to develop a special switch for Audifies, for music playback. And this switch is something. So how does this switch sound? I mean, it's crazy, I'm talking about the sound of network switch, right? But, uh, but trust me, I, I, uh, you, don't, you don't have to trust me, but um, I'm, 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 I'm doing this, this computer audio is my, not only my job, but a uh, huge, huge passion. And when I received this switch for the first time, I installed it and my first reaction after five or 10 seconds of listening to a track when this switch was installed was, oh my God. It was an experience as if I installed, uh, I don't know, twice expensive, twice more expensive DAC or twice more expensive amplifier. I know that cost money and it's not always the more expensive the better, but in this case it was like, wow, there is no discussion. It adds so much weight, it adds so much color, dynamics and energy of high frequency tones that I couldn't believe. So obviously this is restricted for uh, high-end systems, otherwise uh, who would spend 4,000 euro on a network switch? You you have to, you need at least, you need to have a system that is, I don't know, 15 or 20,000 euro worth or more, because otherwise better spend the money as well. So these are the most important components and areas where you can improve something in your network and I can guarantee it will improve sound. It will improve sound drastically. You don't have to, if you don't have the funds or you don't want to invest in such a high quality switch like the M12 Gold, then there are, there are other switches available on the, mar on the market, there are, there are plenty. What else makes a difference? Well, uh, almost everything makes a, di makes a difference in terms of networking. But uh, the most important property, the most important parameter which you can adjust is uh, network connection speed. And I highly recommend using one gigabit per second uh, wherever it's possible, because in my opinion it sounds, it simply sounds better than 100 megabit per second. Um, 100 megabit per second is uh, more than enough for network uh, to secure stable playback for almost any any format, any music format. This is not a limitation. However, I personally find that one gigabit sounds significantly better. It sounds more open, it sounds more crispier in the 
in the higher frequencies and uh, it's just more, more it's it's a more natural sound uh, for uh, for my for my ears i know that some manufacturers of uh, of network switches of hi-fi network switches use chipsets that allow only 100 megabit per second and one i think um upton Upton Audio, I think, Ether region, their switch is uh, limited to 100 megabit uh, because they uh, it was their design decision to use that chipset according to them it sounds better. That was their decision. I I I, I disagree. I personally disagree. I I I think that 100, 100 megabit. Maybe for maybe for the for the for the chips that they used, maybe they compared some chipsets and 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 decided and chose the 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 slower one because obviously um, lower connection speed uh, requires less processing and less processing um, less processing uh, requires lower power consumption and this is often this this is often a source of noise so I, I understand the, their their decision to use 100 megabit however when it comes to the M12 Gold, it doesn't make any sense to use 100 megabit because one gigabit simply sounds better. Oh, by the way, the the, the weight of of this switch. I mean, if you if you if you take it in hands, then you 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 feel what you paid for. It's this is pure metal. Okay, uh, so that pretty much covers it. Uh, I will explain in the. I will. I pull, I will record a different uh, video, how to optimize network because you can do. You can adjust many parameters in a, in a router or. Um, on a computer, in a, in a Windows system, or in a network properties of the network card, and this also makes quite a difference. It makes quite a difference. You can you can get a nice boost of sound quality for free. You just need to uh, apply some tricks, which uh, I can show you in uh, my next videos okay uh, i think that covers everything i hope you i didn't bore you too much if you enjoyed this video please uh, like subscribe and uh, ask questions in the comment section if i find time i will i will try to reply to all comments thank you very much bye